Oh my gosh, hello everyone, it's me E, and today's video is going to be very special since I'll be making an Easter doll repaint makeover. And here is my concept drawing and our victim, Abby Abominable. Uh, I wish they had made these Monster High dolls when I was a kid because they're really cool and posable. And here I'm showing my pattern pieces, uh, which I cut out for her pinafore dress. I just eyeball most of this stuff since I don't really know how to sew. Um, but these are all the pieces which I later sewed together. And here is what the original pinafore dress looks like. I used embroidery floss for the straps to make things a little bit easier for myself. And I also made some bunny slippers for her off screen. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the undershirt that I made for her. And I'm going to be using embroidery floss um, to give her a frilly hem line to her neck. And to do this, I used basically a whip stitch. Um, like I said, I don't know much about sewing, but I believe this is called a whip stitch. And I just looped that around the hemline. And then at the end, I just fed the thread back through the loops. And there you have it. Now her outfit is almost done, but I'm going to make her a bag to match her bunny slippers. To make the strap for the bag, I am using embroidery floss again and an old friendship bracelet technique. I used to make these bracelets all the time when I was a kid. So basically you knot each string around the others twice each and continue like this until you reach your desired length. And it's the return of my Halloween washi tape, which appears in many, many videos. Now I'm going to paint the bag to match her bunny slipper design. Now I'm painting on fake stitches. Sometimes details which only take a minute or two make a really big difference. Now for the face. First things first, I use acetone to remove the original face. Some people say nail polish remover works as long as it contains acetone, but I don't advise you to do that. It will just smudge the face around and take ages to actually remove.
When the face is all clean of the old paint, I just wipe it down with alcohol, then give it a spray with Mr. Super Clear, which is toxic, so I do this outside. Now the first thing I like to do when I am repainting is to blush the cheeks. Then I do a first pass of the details on her face. She's going to be a bunny girl, so I give her a bunny mouth and a bunny nose. And don't be afraid to flip your doll around. I'm going to give her round bunny eyes. This face mold has smaller eye sockets, but I basically just ignore the face mold and draw over the shape of the face. The other issue with Abby is that she has more of an underbite. So we're going to try and give her the impression of a bigger bunnyish upper lip with highlight and shadows. I felt like freckles would be a cute touch, so I add those with my watercolor pencil, and then later I will put more blush over top of them to help them blend in and look more natural.
Now the black on her lash line will make it a little bit more crisp. And by the way, this is now my second layer of the face. The first layer was sealed with MSC, and there's gonna be four layers in all. See, I'm now adding gray around the mouth, uh, the white part, to make it look like the upper lip is more protruding. Light and shadow can make pretty convincing illusions. This is now layer three. I've just gotten my watercolor pencils damp, which will improve their saturation. Even with the improved saturation, I still struggle with the lilac pencil. It just does not want to show up for the brown to light purple eye ombre effect. So in the upcoming layer four, I will resort to using a little bit of acrylic paint to create that purple eye effect. Now we're in layer four. I'm going to use white paint to boost the brightness of her bunny mouth and her eye whites after doing the purple.
I come back in with a darker purple to help create more of a fading ombre effect. Now I'm using this white pencil to add some final highlights. And now the last details of the face. Her bunny tooth. And now the heart shape catch lights in her eyes. And that's the face. We're going to be outfitting her with more appropriate bunny ears, so we are saying goodbye to her old ones. Chop, chop. Now I'm gonna gloss the eyes after cutting off the ears, and that was so I didn't stick my finger in the eye gloss. And my gloss are tooth too. So I'm going to make her some ears from craft foam. I cut them out and then painted them. And then I used the pins to insert them into her head. And now it's time for the final reveal. I still consider myself an amateur doll repainter, but I still really like how she turned out and I'm probably going to display her every year at Easter. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you have a great Easter Sunday. Bye bye